Hello, and welcome back once again to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Infinite Jest to you, one page at a time, one day at a time, put it up on the YouTubes for everyone to hear, to listen to, to enjoy. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. But we are now into the 200s, which means it's going on almost seven months that I've been doing this thing. <coughs> uh, that's all right. We still got a long ways to go, but this is page number two hundred and one. Infinite Jeff. Here we go. From their bedside pack, light it, smoke it down to the quick, and then extinguish it in their bedside ashtray without once waking up and without setting anything on fire. You will be informed that this skill is usually acquired in penal institutions, which will lower your inclination to complain about the practice. Or that even flints, individual strength, industrial strength, expandable foam earplugs do not solve the problem of a snoring roommate if that if the roommate in question is so huge and so adenoidal that the snores in question also produce subsonic vibrations that arpeggio up and down your body and make your bunk jiggle like a motel bed you've put a quarter in. That females are capable of being just as vulgar about sexual and eliminatory functions as males. That over 60% of all persons arrested for drug and alcohol-related offenses report being sexually abused as children, with two-thirds of the remaining 40% reporting that they cannot remember their childhoods in sufficient detail to report one way or the other on abuse. That you can weave hypnotic madam psychosis-like harmonies around the minor D scream of a cheap vacuum cleaner, humming to yourself as you vacuum, if that's your chore. That some people really do look like rodents. But some drug addicted prostitutes have a harder time giving up prostitution than they have giving up drugs, with their explanation involving the two habits very different directions of currency flow. That there are just as many idioms for the female sex organ as there are for the male sex organ. That a little mentioned paradox of substance addiction is that once you are sufficiently enslaved by a substance, you need to quit the substance in order to save your life. The enslaving substance has become so deeply important to you that you will all but lose your mind when it is taken away from you. Or that sometimes after your substance of choice has just been taken away from you in order to save your life, as you hunker down for required AM and PM prayers, you will find yourself beginning to pray to be allowed literally to lose your mind, to be able to wrap your mind in an old newspaper or something and leave it in an alley to shift for itself without you. That in Metro Boston, the idiom of choice for the male sex organ is unit, which is why Ennett House's residents are wryly amused by EMPH Hospital's designations of its campus's buildings. God, the possessions! That certain persons simply will not like you no matter what you do. That the... Then that most non-addictive adult civilians have already absorbed and accepted this fact, often rather early on. That no matter how smart you thought you were, you are actually way less smart than that. That AA and NA and CA's God does not apparently require that you believe in him, her, it, before he, she, it will help you. Footnote 69. That Pache, macho bullshit, Public male weeping is not only plenty masculine, but can actually feel good, reportedly. That sharing means talking, and taking somebody's inventory means criticizing that person. Plus many additional pieces of... And that was page number 201 of the book of the Infinite Jest, here on Infinite Jeff. Once again, combining in a giant robo track like creature called infinite jeffs uh <laughs> good night